Golgoth. Oh, what's wrong? They're gone. My army reserves have been wiped out. Really? Are you serious? We had everything planned out perfectly. Yet again, we leave it to you, and you mess everything up. This isn't the time for mistakes. The slightest mistake now could have the biggest consequence. Maybe try harder to actually do your job right next time? Excuse me, Harder? Listen here, Muckspout. I have been around for a good while to know what I'm doing. The Queen's armies are getting stronger each day, and the more her power grows, the less effective our tactics are against her. There is nothing else I could have done to prevent our fall on the battlefield. But the next time you command an army, you can tell me all about how it feels to lead a thousand men to their deaths. Could you both calm down and settle this at a better time? Orgoth, I was born to be a superior leader. More superior than you. I could have easily taken that red and her army down had you all given me the chance. And Maverick, stay out of this. Orgoth and I were talking. You have nothing to do with this conversation right now. Keep your mouth shut, you little kid before I claw it off instead. Let the adults. Enough! <sighs> this has gone on for too long now. I'm tired of listening to the arguing. You two have been going on since the Civil War started. We have work to be doing here. People to save. The longer we wait, the more time Alexandra Lane has to gain power. It might be true that right now, our armies aren't in the best shape. And it might be true that Orgoth may have made a small mistake. But regardless, we have to come up with a plan of action. We don't have time to sit here and argue. Finish it, Orgoth. Calm yourselves. There will be plenty more time to argue once this war is over. It's complete another chaos out there, and you're just gonna tell me to stay calm? During a war? How am I supposed to be calm when we're all laying around waiting to be slaughtered like pigs instead of chopping heads off? This is a time we need to take matters into our own hands. We have to do our own dirty work now. I... I don't believe that we can, Fenris. Alexandra knows us personally, and our heads are on the table for a price. We will be killed immediately if we step one foot out of this bunker. It's best if we just stay here and guide the younger circle members. Huh, like hell we'll just stay here. We need to go out there and fight. It's not as if there's someone else that we could just magically summon to fight the mess that Alexandria made. It's only us now, and we need to take care of it. Who is there? Fenris, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but you may have actually given me an idea. What? what? 200 years ago, there was a man. He was a vampire of great power, but he decided to try and take out the circle. But he failed. He was thrown into the abyss by Exandra before she rose to power. His downfall is what put her on the throne in the first place. We're in dire need of a strong fighter. If we can get him to work with us instead of against us, there's a chance we can- what the hell, Argoth? You're not talking about- Yes, I am talking about him. We don't have a battle strategy. We are extremely limited in battle armaments, and we don't have room for more failure. He could potentially be the one who saved us all from extinction. Orgoth, I don't think that's such a bright idea. After all, he was put in the abyss for a reason. He is a vile, disgusting, heinous villain. You know we shouldn't mess with him. Yeah, for once, I'm agreeing with Maverick. That's insanity. Even I think that's a dreadful idea. Fenris. The only reason you think it's a bad idea is because I'm the one who said it. I'm not asking for your opinions. In fact, I'm going to get him personally, and that's final. After he helps us, 
You all see how I was right. Orgo, where are you going? I am leaving. I'm going to get Vedric. I'll be back before the crescent moon. Oh, jeez. He's going to get us all killed. Why couldn't you just say yes to letting me go fight? I did not realize that this would happen. If I didn't know that Orgoth would do this, I would have had a higher chance of saying yes to you. But let's wait to take any further actions. Maybe Orgoth is onto something. and torture people for 200 years! So many a nightmare. I should have killed them all when they were less suspicious of me. I want to die! I want to die! Why? Why? Why can't you just kill me already? Where's your power now? You said! SORRY LOSERS! Vedric... Vedric Lean... <sighs> that voice... Vedric... Sounds... familiar... <laughs> Damn it! Just let me out of here already! Vedric, I'm coming. Hi, oh, you! Where are you going? Sir, stop at once! Get the off! Don't let him escape! Torture me some more! Go ahead! I've been through enough of your- Patrick Lane, I am not here to torture you. I am here to get you out. What? You what? It's a long story. I'd love to tell you all about it, but as of right now, we don't have the time. I need to get you back to the circle. They will be better at explaining your time, miss, rather oh, than- Hell no! I'm not going back to them with you of all people. You all destroyed my life, my plans. I would have made a much better leader than all of you miserable idiots. Well, if you really don't want to help, I can just leave you here to rot. But for how long? You survived for 200 years. How much longer till you perish in misery? What do you mean? Why does it matter? You can either come with me and learn of events past, or you can stay here and regret not knowing. The choice is yours, Lane. I will give you one more chance. Uh, I don't really have much of a choice, I suppose. Considering this is the only way I can escape from whatever scheme you're trying to plot, just know this. If you try anything funny, Anything! I will easily kill you. <laughs> yes, of course. You definitely haven't spent time in the nastiest prison of the supernatural realm. And you definitely have the strength to kill the leader of the circle after being starved almost to death. Really now, Vedric, use some common sense. 
Hey you, stop them. Everyone, at once. And call for backup. Ah, oh, Rickfire. Time to go, Lane. <laughs> what happened here? New recruits? Do you people really die that fast nowadays? Man, what a bunch of low lives. That's some big talk come from such a small mouth. Really, Orgos? I would have expected more from you. This peasant obviously can't take on an army like that. Look at him! He looks weak and scrawny. The only thing he'll be able to do is get in the way of our victory. Shut up. Vedric has been in that prison for quite some time now. Give him a moment to recuperate. War? Oh, I can see that Orgoth has not explained anything to you yet. You seem too confused to know what's going on. Either way, it will take us a few minutes before we can get into the details of this tough predicament we have gotten ourselves into. But first, I have something to say to our Orc leader. Orgoth, you blatantly disrespected and disobeyed my specific instructions not to let this heathen out of the abyss. It is obviously too late now, but I do not appreciate the disrespect I have been given. Let it be taken as a warning that if Vedric takes one step out of line, you will be directly held responsible. Understood. Come with me. And Line, I will have Maverick and Fenris here look after you in my absence while I talk to Orgoth. I will be back shortly. Of course! Looks like I'll be able to get revenge on one of the original Circle members, after all.